Hi, I'm John Morton. I'm a venture capitalist. I invest in small and growing businesses. I invest in trouble companies. I live in Guernsey. Um, it's a lovely place. Uh, Guernsey isn't in the EU, and I can promise you that life in Guernsey is not hellish. It's really rather nice. We have very low unemployment. We don't have a deficit. We have cash. Uh, we have old-fashioned values, and the place works great. We control immigration. Now you come over to the UK, uh, which is where I spent most of my life, and I see the Remain camp putting out economic claptrap. The economic forecasts they're putting out are designed to frighten, but they're put out by people whose history of forecasting is dreadful. Uh, Mystic Meg would probably be as accurate as many a treasury forecast. If you go back to 2008, they were forecasting the economy would be in surplus in 2010, only wrong by about a quarter of the size of the total economy. So we're talking about much smaller things in the context uh, of going out of the EU. And indeed, if we get our trade agreements right, we may very well actually have a better economy in the short term. And long term, we would. If we stay in the EU, one thing is guaranteed. Bureaucracy and regulation will continue to push into the state. We will become part of a bureaucratic superstate the like of which history has never seen. You don't want to be there. Uh, the UK government will make mistakes, but it'll make a lot less than some bunch of overpaid lads in Brussels. We need to actually have sovereignty here. We need to be able to control the immigration into the UK. We don't want to stop immigrants. We like immigrants. They can add enormous amounts to add the value of our economy. They add to the diversity of our culture. That's good stuff. But we want it to be measured. We want the people in for the jobs that are available for them to fill, for the skills we need in our economy. We want as many highly skilled immigrants as we can get. And we can't do that at the moment because we're controlling immigration by stopping the very bright people from India or Australia from getting in here. We need very hard to leave Europe. We need to leave it so that we can make our own mistakes and more importantly, our own prosperity. We don't want to be part of the deadly dull, slow growing Eurozone.